Hello everyone. In this video, we will see that how can we make use of schedulers in Python. So basically, what is a scheduler? So let's say you have to perform some kind of task, and you want to make sure that that same task get performed in every every minute, or let's say in every ten seconds, or you know in every two hours. So what basically we are talking about is a schedule. So basically. In we can use make use of uh, a scheduler in Python as well. So, for an example, let's say you have to print time of every five seconds, right? Let's say you have a use case. You have to print the time for every five seconds. So, normally, if you do not use a scheduler, what will you need? What you will need to do is you okay. So, you need to import the date time library first. Obviously, we'll need this and let's say you define a method or a function which which help us to you know print the time so let's say you have a job to do and the job is to make sure that you print the time so you can get the time by date time dot time date time dot date time dot now and to print it you can just simply say the current time is uh, plus in string format time right so if you if you run this particular program you won't see anything getting printed so for an example if i try to run it i will i won't see anything see we don't have any output because you know we need to call this particular function so let's say i just call this function and now if i want to you know run this program i will see okay i get the current time but hey i want the time in every 5 seconds right or let's say every two seconds any kind of int any interval it can be but yeah i want it in a scheduled format but you know my program just stopped this is because we are not using any kind of scheduler this is a simple program but there is a library in python which is called aps scheduler which can help us to you know schedule a task so we'll import it so i will write aps scheduler this is how I can import it, but yeah, again we need to install it first, right? So to install it, we'll say pip install aps scheduler, right? You can find this particular installation, you know, uh, the, you can find this particular thing in the description as well. So yeah, for me it is the requirement is already satisfied. So yeah, for me it is already installed, so I do not need to install it again. But yeah. You can use this particular text. I have that in the description. So yeah, you can install it. Once you have this installed, uh, what we need to do is we need to we need to import a background scheduler in in this part of using this particular API scheduler library. So I will say from API scheduler dot schedulers dot background. I think it's background. I can say background schedule. Right, right. Now, since I have this, I have imported this. Uh, if I try to run this particular program again, I will not get it. You know, I will just get the current time again. So I will not get it in a schedule format. We need to write some code for it. Let's just remove this function call. Right. Uh, let me clear this. Let me. Okay. What we can do is we can first make an instance of this background scheduler. I can say bs is equal to background scheduler. And now I need to add this particular job to this scheduler. This is a job which we which needs to be performed. So for that we say bs dot add job. First we need to you know understand what kind of argument it takes. So first will be the function name so i will say job second will be the type of trigger so we have different type of triggers when we talk about schedulers we can have a cron job we can have you know some kind of interval so right now we are talking about the interval we will see cron jobs in the next part of the schedulers so let's just focus on the intervals so i will say trigger is equal to interval and what interval so it can be seconds it can be 
minutes or it can be hours right but for an example in this video uh, it will be better if i you know work with seconds so let me say second equal to five right if i uh, so if i you know run this program right now again we won't find any hour required output we need to start this background scheduler once we add the job i say ps dot start right there are few other problems as well but we'll understand let's search let's just you know run this program i got an error saying name job is not defined so it is talking about this job you know in the line number five we, uh, this particular you know bs dot add job does not know where the job is because it's after we are calling it so again make sure we we follow the basic python let's define this function before we are actually using it so it should go the above and let's try to run it again again there will be a problem we do not see any output this is because our program stopped why because this is the basic python you know i have divided a scheduler i have added a job and i have started it it's done our program is ended now the, since the program is ended and there is no output because the program actually ended we need to make sure that our program continues to run what we can do is we can just say while true we can just say pass no need to do anything but make sure that this keep on running and it will, it will make sure that our program keeps and keep on running right and now if i will run it let's just wait for five seconds right okay i got our first output let's wait for five more seconds oh we got our second output so you see the time interval 41 seconds 46 seconds 51 seconds then it should be 56 seconds right so yeah this is what we are expecting right so okay if you are getting confused on this one okay let's say you are using some kind of framework let's say django and when you run your server your program does not stop it keeps on running until and unless you stop the server this is what we are doing we need to make sure our program is running that's why we are just you know using some kind of hack over here but yeah whenever you are using some kind of frameworks it will definitely you will definitely not need this but yeah so keep on fo keep fo your focus on this part so how it is working you create a background scheduler you add your job and you start it and make sure your job is already created and let's see you know till the time we are talking about it is doing its work so yeah this is how we create a scheduler in python again seconds minutes hours these are the allowed values if you use something else let's say seconds one some invalid value and try to write again it will say it, it is an unexpected argument so yeah the valid arguments are seconds minutes and hours uh, right so i think we have uh, you know reached to the end of our video for this part uh, do comment out whatever you want to know more on it if you have some kind of other use case you can just comment it down if you have some kind of doubt you can comment it down and, and, and i will try to answer it as fast as possible till then i will see you in the next video